Today I'm going to show you how to prepare ampicillin for your peripheral IV and medication administration. First step, go to the medication room. There is an area designated for ampicillin preparation. Clean the area with a cabicide wipe. For demonstration purposes, I am not doing this as this is not the area. Grab your supplies. If you are using a 250 milligram vial for ampicillin, you will need a 3 ml BD syringe, a blunt fill needle, a sterile water, and the ampicillin itself. Two alcohol swabs. Once your area is dried, take off the cap of your ampicillin, take off the cap of your sterile water. With each alcohol prep pad, you prep one, and then the other. Place the blunt needle on your 3 ml syringe. Pull back to 2.4 ml of sterile water. We use 2.4 to 250 per pharmacy's recommendations. Put the sterile water into the ampicillin and shake it up. Pull back your desired dose. For this case we'll use 200 just for demonstration purposes. Now you must label your medication. You should have brought a sticker with you that belongs to the patient so you have a patient identifier. Fill out one of these, which is located at, next to the medication administration station. Ampicillin, 200 milligrams equals 2 mLs. The date and the time that you prepped it, as the ampicillin is only good for one hour after it has been prepped. When dealing with a 500 milligram vial of ampicillin, you will need a 5 ml syringe, a blunt fill needle, a sterile water, and two alcohol prep pads. Same process, except for you will fill your 5 ml syringe to 4.7. 2, 4, 6, 7. So you need 4.7 of sterile water to your 500 of ampicillin. If you cannot remember the concentrations of sterile water to ampicillin, there is a laminated copy posted just above the medication preparation station for your reference. Also, when you're ready with your ampicillin, you need to take the vial and the water, your labeled ampicillin with your patient identifier as well as your prep time and date and concentration to the room with you. Have a second RN check it with you. Scan your patient's band. Scan the ampicillin. Make sure both RNs check for expiration date and what it is. Sterile water, expiration date, and ampicillin. Then cosine and administer. When dealing with a patient who is on TPN at the time of administration, their med port line will already be pre-primed with normal saline. Go ahead and hook the syringe on to the end of the port directly. Put it on your medication syringe pump. Follow the prompts to administer the ampicillin. You will need to pause your TPN during administration of ampicillin as it is not compatible to run at the same time. Make sure after the flush has completed that you restart your TPN. Okay. Imagine your TPN is infusing. You will come over and hit pause TPN. You will press the channel off button and hold it until you see powering down appear. Then press any number, I choose 5, and then it will go to a standby screen. It will not alarm continuously and it will keep all of your information and your fluid volume that has infused saved in this status. Let your ampicillin run on the metafusion pump. When you're ready to come back and restart your TPN after the flush has completed, come back and press 
Channel Select. Press Restore and Start. Your fluid will immediately begin infusing again. When administering ampicillin to a patient who simply has a heparin lock, you will need a microbore extension tubing. Go ahead, you can prime the microbore extension tubing with your ampicillin. Hook directly on and prime it through until it comes to the end. Take off your curos on your hep lock, hook directly on to your hub. Place the syringe in the syringe pump, follow the prompts, and administer the ampicillin. At the end, end with the flush. If you are hours away from giving another medication, go ahead and heparin lock your line again. Otherwise, wait until after the second medication is given and flushed before you heparinize your line.